Dan, more than 35 people spoke at tonight's meeting, both sides speaking to the board, telling them what these lights will do to and for the community. Love football. <laughs> room and a line of people waiting to voice their thoughts about stadium lights and Monterey High School's football field. Some wanting to bring home games home. It's only the right thing for us to do is, instead of us going to NBC to play, we have the most beautiful facility in this side of town. But some who live near the high school are not for this. This would severely impact our neighborhood with light pollution, with noise, extra traffic, there is no parking. Um, and so the neighbor, we found out about it and we've been trying to get them to uh, produce an environmental impact report for this. Lack of elevation deprives neighbors and Monterey citizens from seeing how this project will look from our homes and impact the landscape and view of our neighborhood. Many at Tuesday's meeting disagree. I think, I, I think it's absolutely terrific, you know. I, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not one of those that live away someplace else and think it should be in somebody's neighborhood. I am part of that neighborhood. Other concerns for the new lights, renting out the space. Today I communicated with the Neighborhood Association. I wrote them a letter to say we won't rent it out to anyone to use the lights. We'll just take that off the table, even uh, soccer leagues and stuff, which you know our kids would really benefit from. But to, to, to ease their concerns, we just won't rent it out to anyone. And it's not just adults in this debate. And it's really depressing to see how much of our funding is utilized towards transportation and field rental fees at NPC. This money should be going towards enhancing our school culture instead of diminishing it. Having lights when people are practicing and we're in our halls decorating, it just builds, it just builds culture and that's what high school is all about. There were a lot of emotions at tonight's meeting, but the, there is, has been no decision made just yet. The school district will meet again in late September to discuss this further. Dan. All right. Uh, thank you, Kyla. Uh, you can see highlights from Monterey High School and all of the other Central Coast teams on our High School Playbook Blitz, which is beginning again this Friday on Action News at 11.